Hi guys, it's Miss Sarah from the West Bank Club, and I am doing an interview with Miss Alon about her career. So, Miss Alon, what is your career, and could you briefly explain what you do? Absolutely. So, I work in marketing and communications um, for a very small company that focuses mainly on um, criminal data and stuff like that. So, anything that you do and tickets that you might get if you run into the police. <laughs> um, we just, we provide all that data and I work in communications for that. Awesome. Well, does it have a particular name? Even um, if they might not understand it. <laughs> no, I, well, yeah, absolutely. So uh, the company is called North Carolina Information Data. That's the overarching company. Mm -hmm. what, do, what is your title? Marketing Communications Coordinator. There you go. Okay. Yeah. So what were your favorite subjects growing up in like elementary, middle, high school? I always loved English. I loved to read. Any excuse to read was my kind of t cup of tea there. Um, I also really liked social studies and history because I really liked to learn um, about everything that got us to where we are today. Oh, awesome. So yeah. what kind of school schooling did you go to and complete? Um, yeah, so I completed my undergrad. My degree was actually in English, but I also had a minor in communications with a focus specifically in journalism at the time, but the communications part really was a lot of different things. Okay, well, so what, how does what you studied in school apply or not apply to what you're currently doing? Absolutely. So my English degree was actually a lot of different layers and it really helped me hone in on my writing skills. And with what I do now, which is basically um, helping create a, hmm, how would I say it, a voice for my company. Anything that we send out to our clients, potential clients, anything like that has to come through me first and I create a voice so it all stays the same. So I got to really hone in on my English skills as far as language as well as writing. I know how to fix sentences and <laughs> no more comma splices. Um, and the communications, just learning how to interact with a variety of different people on lots of different levels was really, really helpful. As far as not helpful, I would say, uh, I don't really read as much in this, in this <laughs> job, unfortunately. I don't get the opportunity to read books for fun anymore, um, but I did in college, so that was great, but doesn't really apply here, unfortunately. So when did you start working in your career in marketing communications? Right out of college, I fell into the marketing world a little bit and ended up at a couple different companies that were sort of startups. So they were brand new companies, um, which, you know, that really helped me figure out that I really liked the marketing side of things and not just the communications part. And then I got an opportunity to work in my current job in 2015, and I've been there ever since. Awesome. So what would you say is the most unexpected part of your career? The most unexpected part was having to learn all the different facets of the company itself. I don't just work and do one specific thing. I have to come up with that voice that we were talking about for all the different little parts of our company because we have one big company and then little things that are different and sort of have to tweak it for each one. So that was really hard learning about that. So with marketing communications in the different companies you've been for, have they done different things? You kind of had to learn a lot about different industries and kind of everything there is about those. Absolutely. Every company I've worked for since I graduated from college has been different. And so every time you work for a new company, you have to learn that industry and you have to learn the ins and outs of that. If you're working in a different company. Now, obviously, sometimes people stay in the same industry and just switch jobs that way. But unfortunately for me, I've gone in all, <laughs> maybe, maybe fortunately, I've learned a lot. I got the opportunity to learn a lot, but that has been very difficult learning the first couple months, especially about all the ins and outs of your new industry and making sure that you know what you're talking about so that you can do your job best. Would you say that that's the hardest part of your career? learning kind of basically taking on new yeah. industries all the time or would you say there's something else i would say for me the hardest part was just making sure that i knew and felt comfortable talking about whatever it was the company that i was working for at the time 
and making sure that you have all the information possible. And it's a learning experience. I'm still learning. I've been there five years. Just the other day, my boss called me and asked me about something and I had to say, wait, we do that? I had no <laughs> idea because it was a really little used thing that we almost never need to know about. So I had no idea. And so you're always learning something. And while it's fun, it's definitely been difficult to make me feel like I'm as on top of my job as possible, getting all the information I can. What would you say the best part of your career is? Best part of my career is getting to write as much as I do. I get to come up with new tidbits and new phrases in my communications part. I get to come up, like I said, with that voice for, for my company. And I get to basically make sure that that's always, let's say, um, popular in vogue, maybe. <laughs> I, I want to make sure it's up I to use, date. I use the phrase hip with the kids hip with the kids. I like it. And anytime new things come out, I get to learn about them and then, you know, make sure that we're staying up to date with things. And I, like I said, just getting to write a lot and getting control of that voice is really, really awesome for me. It sounds really cool. I mean, you're basically kind of the megaphone for the company. Yeah, I am. No one knows that though, which is even more fun. So I don't have to have a face. It's all other people. I just get to tell them what to say. Ooh, that's, that can be super fun. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> um, so if someone told you they wanted to grow up to be Miss Alon, what advice would you give them? I would say study hard in school. I think that that's definitely the most important part. Really figure out what you like to do. And if it's writing, then really focus on that and study hard on that. Um, and, and always have fun, always go into things with an open mind. I think that that's been the best part of my career. And I know I've hopped around a lot to different industries, but that's been, a, been, been kind of fun for me while very difficult. Like I said before, it has been fun because I kept an open mind and I got to learn a lot. Well, that's, that's awesome. I think it's always great advice to tell people to make sure to, to study hard in school, but even if they're doing lots of different things and kind of doing that, it's super important. They never know where their career is going to take them, especially like you, you brought up journalism, but you're in communications now. So exactly. exactly. You never know. Always keep an open mind and, and focus hard. That's always the most important part. Well, I thank you for taking time out of your busy day for talking to us. And I hope you have a great rest of the one. Thanks so much. Bye.